Hi friends, this is Pramit class. I am your math instructor Mamta Mode. In the previous class, we have given you the introduction of linear equation and simultaneous linear equation and explain you the method that are required to solve the linear equation. The first method is elimination method. If you want to go through that method, you go you can check in the link given below in the description box. The second method is the substitution method. In a substitution method says that for example we have given two equations x plus 7y equals to 10 and 3x minus 2y equals to 7. I have given it as equation number 1 and second as equation number 2. The method says write the value of one variable in term of another variable by using the given equation. So I am using the equation number 1 which says x plus 7y is equals to 10 and I am shifting this 7y to the right hand side. So x is equals to 10 minus 7 y so we get the value of x and given it as equation number 3 try to find out the value of the variable as a variable only not a multiple of anything or not a divisible of anything okay so uh, now the second step say put these value in any one of the equation we can put it either in equation 1 or 2 i am putting here the uh, value of third in equation number 2 so equation number 2 is 3x minus 2y is equals to 7 so in place of x i am putting 10 minus 7y and it look like 3 in under bracket 10 minus 7y minus 2y equals to 7. So 3 into 10 will be 30 minus 3 into 7y will be minus 21y and minus 2 as it is and 7 is as it is. Now the next step says find the values of this variable, this variable. I need to find the value of this variable. Why? So I will going to solve this equation. So 30 minus 21y minus 2y will be minus 23 y equal to 7. Now I am shifting minus 23 from left to right and it will become plus 23. So it, the equation look like 30 plus 7 y, uh, 7 plus 20, 30 equals to 7 plus 23 y. Now I am trying to shift this 7 from right to left and it will become 30 minus 7 equals to 23 y. 30 minus 7 is again 23. 23 equals to 23 y. I am dividing both the 23. So y is equals to 1. So, I have got the value of one variable. Now, I need to find the value of another variable. How I can find it out? By the relation number 3. So, I am putting the value of y in equation number 3. That is x equals to 10 minus 7y. I am putting y is equals to 1 here. So, 10 minus 7 into 1 will be 7. That is equals to 3. Hence, the value of x equals to 3 and y is equals to 1. We can check whether our answer is correct or not. We are taking the left hand side and putting this value. I am putting x equals to 3 here and y is equals to 1. So, 3 plus 7 into 1 will be 10. 3 into 3 minus 2 into 1 that is 9 minus 2 is equals to 7. So, our answer is correct. Second, next method, third method is the graphical method to solve the simultaneous linear equation. As it is known from the name, we will going to draw a graph and solve the equation. Let us see, for example, we have given two equations x plus y equals to 6 and x minus y is equals to 4. The first step say find at least four ordered pair of the value of the given equation. Now, putting the different values of x, we get the different values of y. Using, I am using the equation number 1. What is the equation number 1? x plus y is equal to 6. So, I am calculating the value. I am shifting this x from the left to right. So, it will become y is equal to 6 minus x. For different values of x, I am putting different value x equals to 0. Suppose I am taking x equals to 0 here. So, y will be 6. x equals to 2 here. So, y will be 4 x equals to 4 here. So, y will be 4, 6 minus 4 will be 2. x equals to 6. So, y is equals to 6 minus 6 will be 0. Again, similarly, in the second equation, x minus y equals to 4. So, I am shifting this y from left to right and 4 from right to left. So, it become plus y and minus 4. So, y is equals to x minus 4. I am putting different value. x equals to 0. So, y minus 4. x equals to 2. So, 2 minus 4 will be minus 2. y x equals to 4 so 4 minus 4 will be 0 and x equals to 6 so 6 minus 4 will be 2. Try to find out the value of the y which contain positive integers, negative integer as well 0. Now what is the third step? Now I am going to draw x axis and y axis on a graph paper and plot this point. Let us draw. 
from the first table x is equals to 0 so y will be 6 x equals to 0 is on the uh, uh, and y is equals to 6 where we will get this point x is 0 only on the y axis so this point will be going to be here okay so I am plotting a point here as x equals to 0 and y is equals to 6. Second says uh, if x is equals to 2 then y is equals to 4. So x equals to 2 and y is equals to 4 will be the point here. Next the x equals to 4, y is equals to 2. 4 x equals to 4, y is equals to 2 point here. x is equals to 6 and y is equals to 0 where it will be going to happen on the x axis. Correct. Now I am going to draw a straight line for this. Okay. So, I am drawing a straight line here. Okay. I am placing a straight line here. Which contain all this point. Okay. Now, which is this line? Which uh, this line shows as x plus y is equals to 6. Okay. Now, I am going to construct another line. Okay. What is the another line say? If x equals to 0, y is equals to minus 4. x equals to 0, y is equals to minus 4 will be happen on y axis. x equals to 2, y is equals to minus 2. This is the point. x equals to 4, y is equals to 0. Means x axis, x equals to 6, y is equals to 2. That will be going to here. Now again I am drawing a straight line which contain all these points. Okay. I am trying to fix it. Okay. Now it contain all this point. And which is this axis? This is the axis which shows x minus y is equals to 4. And the point of intersection, this point of intersection will be the solution. What is the value of x here? As we can see x is here, x equals to 4. 5 and y is equals to 1. So, coordinate of this point P is here x equals to 5 and y is equals to 1 will be the solution for the given equation. We can check it. I am putting x equals to 5 and y is equals to 1. So, 5 plus 1 will be 6 which is the right hand side. x equals to 5 and y is equals to 1. So, 5 minus 1 equals to 4 which is our right hand side. So, this solution is correct. Thank you for watching my video. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell. And stay tuned with this channel so that we will going to continue with our linear equation topic. Thank you for watching my videos.